Welcome back, Duck fans. The year five regular season is underway, and the Mighty Ducks are once again the top defensive team in our division. All that needs to be done is to improve the five-on-five -five offense, and this team should make the playoffs. And what will happen to Jamie Drysdale? Tune in to find out. All right, Anaheim, we are back. And it's time for us to continue our year five regular season simulation with your Anaheim Mighty Ducks. We're about the quarterway mark, uh, 20, what, 26 games played? 25 games played, something like that. And we don't have a great record. 11, 12, and 3. We are currently in a divisional playoff spot, though. So I wonder if our division right now is just really tough and everyone's beating up on one another. Uh, talking with the Twitch scouts right here about the potential moves that we can make. Reading the YouTube comments. A lot of people are suggesting to move on from Jamie Drysdale. Now, I just spent a good... I don't know, 10 minutes with the Twitch scouts going through each team. I also did some pre-scouting on my own. And unfortunately, right now, there's just no major trade that is obvious for a guy like Jamie Drysdale. Now, I recognize what you guys are saying. He's 22 years of age. He's got medium elite, but he's not really growing. You're going to lose that medium elite potential eventually, and his value is going to drop. He's got great value right now. And if you're not going to use him, you want to utilize that value in a trade somehow, some way, right? So I am thinking about it. I am aware of it. But as of right now, there are no teams where the trade makes sense. As the season progresses, if we know where that we've absolutely turned into a, play a playoff team, my first rounder becomes expendable. Um, if there are other teams out there that we know are not playoff teams and they're willing to give up their defense, I think different options will open up, but as of right now, it's just it's just not possible. So we're going to hold on to Jamie Drysdale. I've even come to terms with the fact that if we're holding on to him and he drops to a medium top four and he loses that potential, I'm all right with it because now having an offensive defenseman who's 82, 83, 84 overall is still good to have in your lineup, especially if we decide to change coaches one day. So I'm going to just deal with that for right now. But what we are going to do is we're going to put Jamie Drysdale on the trading block. And what I want coming back the other way is simply just a top two defenseman okay so player role we're gonna go defenseman top two all right so if any other teams all of a sudden start to change their trading block and they are willing to give up a defenseman for a young player in jamie drysdale i might get some trade offers coming my way but until that point until the trade deadline all right this is the team these are the guys that we got to get the uh, season one with essentially now i'm gonna listen to the youtube comments here they were saying Sebastian Ajo on the second line ain't going to work. So the plus threes we can get. Let's try a couple weeks riding with our best players up front. All right. So Ajo and Goudreau. Now I want to put a playmaker alongside of those guys who doesn't really pass the puck or doesn't really shoot the puck. And that's going to be Lundstrom. All right. Zegris is a shooter. Goudreau's a shooter. Ajo can get a 25 plus goal season. So I want to get Lundstrom with Ajo and Goudreau. Right. So we're going to run with our top two guys. Second line now. All right, it's going to be Sam Steele, it's going to be Comtois, and it's going to be Jacob Vrana. We are going to drop Trevor Segers back down to the third line just for right now, but we're going to utilize him uh, primarily on the power play. Now, Zegers can play the middle, Jones can play this side, Zucker on that side. Then we got Gru, Wallace, and Terry. Now, I can also move Gru up instead of Zucker, because Gru is going into the future. What do you guys think about that? Should we give the chance to Gru? I like his defensive awareness at 91. He's got a good skater. Zucker, he's got defensive awareness. He's more well-rounded. So you know what? Yeah, I need a little bit more defense on that line. I'm going to move Gru up with Zegris and Max Jones, okay? Uh, defensively, now we have Axelson and Hinola. I'm going to go back to going with... The top players, I'm all right with the chemistry on the blue line, all right? So, Pulak and Axelson, Lindholm, Hinola, and Drysdale and Logan Stanley. Uh, that works for me. Now, the special teams, all right? We want to make sure that Zegris is playing up here. So, it's going to be Ajo. It's going to be Goudreau. Um, I'm even thinking of switching up Drysdale and Axelson, but Hinola... I got to keep Drysdale and Axelson in there so that they can get some growth. Let me take Hinola out. Actually, no, let me leave Hanola in because we want to grow him. Pulak as well. Yeah, let me just move Zegras up instead of Comtois. Yeah, instead of Comtois. There it is. And then Comtois can play with Steele and Verana. All right. And yes, I see what you guys are talking about. All the left-handed shots. <laughs> We got some right-handers on the blue line. There you go, right? So Pulak and Drysdale are the right-handed bombs from the blue line. Zegris is up there with Ajo and Goudreau. So we'll run with our top players, our top goal scorers. And the second line is pretty uh, pretty good for the power play. Verana, Steele, and Maxime Comtois, right? Don't change the power play. I know the power play was good, guys, but I need to focus on getting Trevor Zegris ice time and goals. He's got the high top six, and I'm moving him down to the third line. Now, if we're winning, I can always move him back up to there. But I want some goal scoring on that third line. I think Loon 
Lundstrom's going to help out Aho and Gudro. All right. In fact, what we can do, keep an eye on Isaac Lundstrom's stats. His plus minus is zero right now, right? If that goes up to the plus, we're keeping him on that first line. If he drops down, then we can throw Zegras up there. So Lundstrom at an even right now, right? That's what we're going to focus on. Uh, the penalty kill still looks really good. Aho Zucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love my penalty kill. Uh, extra attackers. Uh, extras. You know what? Three on three. Aho, Gudro, Steel, Verana, Zegris. Yeah, I want. I, we need all the points that we can get right now. Uh, Aho and Gudro, Zegris and Verana. Yep, that'll do for me. Uh, extra attackers. Yeah, shoot out Gudro, Aho, Verana, Zegris, Zucker. Yep, uh, that'll do. Goaltenders. Varlamov is in there as our backup. John Gibson as our starter. And let's see if we can get to the trade deadline in a convincing spot. All right, so we are tracking Lundstrom's stats for the next couple of weeks. And I also want to track the um, the goals against, all right? Because right now we are the best defensive team in our division. So let's go one week at a time, shall we? This week we got Minnesota, St. Louis, and the New York Islanders. What do we got here? Three games. Max Jones has been injured with a mild concussion. Estimated return is December 8th. All right, so he's going to be gone for about a month. Third liner, so I can move Zucker back up, get the plus one. Yeah. Yeah. Terry, I uh, can go Alex Ayafalo in there. Very nice. Uh, now, do I need another penalty killer? Because I know Ayafalo kills penalties. Terry. Who's better, Troy Terry or Ayafalo? Uh, let me just see. Because I wanted to play Troy Terry, but now that I got Ayafalo in the lineup, fuck, if he needs to go. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear. Uh, if he needs to go in there. Hmm, they're about the same. All right, so we'll just uh, we'll just worry about, uh, what's it called? We'll just worry about uh, Troy Terry on the penalty kill. That's fine. <laughs> Injuries are stupid. 5 nothing victory. All right, beautiful. Oh, shit! Gru went down with a mild concussion. His estimated return is December 9th. What the fuck? Oh, my God. That third line just got hit, man. We lost our third line left winger, and we lost our third line right winger. Zegers. Thank God. Avoiding Z uh, Trevor Zegers in there. All right. Ryan Getzlaff, first chance you're getting to play this year, buddy. <laughs> uh, is there anyone I can move up there? Yeah, I got to get Getzlaff down to that uh, third line. Uh, you know what, Melvin Wallace? I want to try you up here. All right, you can go down the middle. 76 for faceoff. Zegers got a 76. I'll put Melvin Wallace down the middle. Getzlaff is back there. Uh, penalty kill. Now, Getzlaff, is he on the penalty kill? No, he's not. So we're fine. Didn't lose much there. We'll be all right. Okay. So two injuries to Gru and Max Jones. Hey, it could be worse. We could lose a lot better players. All right, so we got two points there against Minnesota, a 3-2 loss, a point against the St. Louis Blues, and a 2-0 loss against the Islanders, all right? So good defensive hockey, though. We didn't have a single game where you allowed more than two goals in regulation. Next up, all right, so they should be back. Let me just get past this back-to-back. -back. Their injuries, they might have lingering injuries, all right? So we got three games. You got Calgary. We got Arizona. We got Winnipeg. Don't worry about it, Jones. You're just going to sit out for a few days. All right, that's a win. Uh, San Diego, Tom Rogers has been injured with a strained hammy. Replace that player. Uh, Gru is back. I'm just going to get these back-to-back -back done so they don't have any injuries. Damn it! Par Axelson's been injured with a concussion. The injuries are hitting me hard right now, boys. The injury bug is hitting us. Uh, Gru and Jones are ready to go. Axelson is out. All right, so Zucker, you're down to that line. I have follow. You're in there for Jonesy. There you go. Jonesy. Zegris, you're going to go in the middle. Wallace, you're going back down to the fourth. Getzlaff, you're out of there for Gru. Yeah. All right, so that should change those lines up uh, defensively. Now, who's going to be the guy that goes in? Is it Vero time? It's Vero time, boys. It is Vero time. Hey, he's got a plus three on the first line? No, he doesn't. How do I get the plus three on the first line? Is there any way? There is no way. There is no way. Okay. So, let's move up some guys in the lineup here. I've got to throw Vero down to the third line. I can't do that because then I don't get a... Uh, I want a plus. Drysdale. You know what? Maybe Drysdale and Pulak on that first line. Who do you guys want on that first line? That's an interesting one. Because I got Pulak there. Is there any way I can get a plus three? No, it's going to have to be you. Okay. So Pulak and Drysdale. You guys want to give Drysdale the chance? All right, let's give him up. Maybe we can raise his trade value with a good couple of games. Hanola, uh, Lindholm, and Stanley and Vero. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, penalty kill. Pulak, Hinola, Vero. Vero's even better than uh, Axel Anderson on the penalty kill. What if I go like you to there? Five and three. Fuck yeah. Look at that penalty kill now. Vero! Let's go, buddy. Pulak and Stanley that back there, but Vero is getting it done on that penalty kill. That's nice. All right, so we got that change. Drysdale's in there. What do we got for the power play? Is anything gone awry? Vero's in there. Uh, might as well take Vero out and get Hampus Lindholm in. He is much better for the power play. And every point matters right now, so I cannot uh, take a, a few games off. All right, Aho, that's good. Uh, and the penalty kill was fine, right? Penalty kill was fine. 
Yeah, five and three. That's beautiful. So the scratch players, we're waiting on Par Axelson to come back. I follow is back and gets laugh. We got Jonesy in there. We got Gru back in there. All right, let's continue it. Holy shit. A four to two win over Calgary. Five to two loss. Drysdale's coming off that first line, guys. All right, Drysdale's coming off that first line. Hell no. Hell no. That's not the style of team that we play. Nope. I'm not having that. Uh, Vero. Yeah, you know what? Vero, you're getting the chance to play on this top line. All right, Vero's plus minus right now is zero. Let's see what he can do. Let's see what he can do. Calendar. Man, we are two games below 500. Come on, boys. We got to start winning. We got to start winning games. Uh, Washington on the 14th. That's a 7-3 to loss. What are we doing? How are we losing this much? 5-2 to two loss, 8-4 to four loss, 7-3 to three loss. These fucking injuries, man. Holy shit. A 3 to nothing loss. Four regulation losses in a row. Five of the last six. What are we doing, Anaheim? How is this team not getting it done? Uh, two more games. So I want to take a look at Isaac Lundstrom. Overtime loss right there. Not good. Overtime win. Yeah, I want to take a look at Lundstrom. Got to take a look at Lundstrom on that first line. Because maybe the first line is not actually getting it done now. I moved Ajo up. Lundstrom, minus two. It ain't working. It ain't working. How do I get these guys? Yeah, plus players. All right, Zegers. Time to come up, my man. Zegers with Ajo and Goudreau. I'm running with them. Vrana, minus eight. Steel, minus five. 5v5. Five five. We are trash, man. Holy shit. Lundstrom, Gru, Zucker. I'm going to mix and match you guys again. All right, Jonesy's in there. Uh, defenseman, yeah, Vero and Pulak ain't working. So to hell with the plus three on the second line. Uh, yeah, Hinola, Vero, Drysdale. I can't put Vero together with you. Yeah, there it is. I gotta, I'm gonna go with Hinola and Pulak on that first line. Lindholm and uh, Vero, Drysdale and Stanley. Damn it, Par Axelson. I don't think I'd be missing you this much, my man. I am. Come on. I need some good defensive outings right now. We got to pull ourselves above 500. Fire Cooper? No, he's staying for the year, boys. He's staying for the year. We got to pull ourselves through this, all right? We do have a huge trade, potentially. But I just got to... We just got to get some freaking winning streaks in here. There's a 4-2 win over the uh, Washington Capitals. Back-to-back -back games. I'm going to let Par Axelson sit for the back-to-back. 5-2 -back. win. 3-1. There, there you go. All right. Four wins in a row. We've got points in our last five games, and we're back to 500. 17 and 17. Didn't mean to hit that button. All right. All right. All right. So maybe Zegris up on that first line is better than, the, uh, what's it called, Lundstrom. So I'll leave those guys up there. I'll see what they can do. Uh, but we got to get now. Hinola, you're going to go back there. Vero, you're out of there, my man. Par Axelson, you're going right back in. We got our two plus threes back on the uh, on the thing. Lindholm and Drysdale. I got to get, uh, what's his name in there? I got to get Axelson in there. There you go. Just so they get some points so they continue to grow. Enola Steel, yep. Yeah. Penalty kill. Axelson. I got Axelson in there. I'll take him out for Pulak. All right. And we still get the two plus threes and the penalty kill. That's beautiful. Stanley, Pulak. Yeah, I'll just get the plus one for the three-man penalty kill. That'll do, too. All right. Gibson, what are you doing? Yeah, Gibson's doing fine. He's getting his save percentage back up to where it was. Varley, yeah, he's doing fine. I got two goalies over 900. We got to start just scoring goals and keeping the puck out of the net in regulation. 5v5. All right, so let's get back to that calendar. Full bill of health, boys. Look at the stats. Uh, let's get, uh, let's just, I want to get a good run going. The stats are going to be all over the place right now. I know they are. Let's try to get a good run going in here. Up against the Montreal Canadiens. There you go. Like right now, we're on a good run. There's one, two, three, four, five in a row. Five in a row for the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. Up next against Arizona and LA. Melvin Wallace is back. I'm going to wait for the back-to-back -back games. Uh, Max Jones been injured with a mild concussion. Again, January 6th. Jesus uh i'll just replace that player for right now let's get it done yes but that's uh, more wins more wins so one two three four five six seven seven in a row moving zegris up to that first line has been big time for us so let me take a look at this glass jones i'll let it be jones and the other guys minus five goudreau minus two yep the plus minus is going in the right direction for these guys on the first line now so they're getting it done Vrana minus six steel minus two come to minus one yep that's going in the right direction Yes, sir. This might be the lineup that we needed. So who's coming back? It was... No, Jones is injured, and I got Ayafalo in there. Let me move Gru up. Jones is out. He's not on any power play or penalty kill lines. Wallace is back in. <coughs> Excuse me. Vero and Getzlaff are out. Yeah, we're good. Let's keep on grinding. Let's keep on going here. We got a good thing going right now, Anaheim. We got to keep on beating the teams in our division, baby. All right, next next up, the Arizona Coyotes. Team in our division. Big game, big game. Just just bury all of them. John Merrill is on waivers. One year left at 1.1 million. View player info. 
78 overall, 32 years of age. I'm going to decline him. Don't need him. Yes! The winning streak for the Anaheim Mighty Ducks continues. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 in a row. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Up next, the Vegas Golden Knights. Another team in our division. 8 in a row for the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. 8 in a row, baby. Up against Vegas. Max Jones is back. I'm going to let him go. I don't want to have a lingering injury. Kristen Jajus. View player info. What do we got? 79 overall. Medium top six. I'm going to decline him. Don't need him. And there's a 5-2 loss to Vegas. All right. So the eight-game winning streak comes to an end. Still very good. Uh, good job, boys. Good job. Uh, goaltenders. Not goalies. Sorry. Jonesy. Yes, Max Jones. <laughs> I come back from an injury, and who do I go to? John Gibson to put him back in. <laughs> All right, so Jonesy's back in there, all right? Like the way our team is playing right now. I very much like the way our team is playing. Uh, all right, so let us continue, shall we? Calendar. All right, what do we got in this week? I want to get back to that winning streak. The loss against Vegas, a team in our division. Now we got Pittsburgh, Boston, Colorado, Avalanche in our division. So two games here that are kind of not throwaway games, but... You know, a 5-4 loss against Pittsburgh and a 4-3 loss. All right, 4-3 win. So, eight-game winning streak followed up by two in a row in regulation loss. And we break that by getting another W. So, keep the Ws coming. Colorado and Calgary. Two teams in our... No, no, Calgary's not in our division. Sorry, Colorado is. Keep forgetting about that Canadian division. 3-2 regulation loss. Damn, these one-goal regulation losses, man. Two Canadian teams to go up against. Calgary and Edmonton. Calgary got awful. Edmonton, we get a point out of. 3-2 win for Calgary. Or against Calgary, sorry. And a 3 or 4-3 overtime or shootout loss against Edmonton. Can't even freaking talk. Uh, yeah, let's go to the end of this month, all right? So three more. We'll get to January 1st. New Jersey, Toronto, and uh, Ottawa. See what we got. Come on, get some points. That's a 4-3 victory. Johnny Goudreau's been injured with an injured shoulder. Estimated return is February 4th. Are we already in January? Replace player. Wait a minute. Are we already in January? Like, is he going to be back soon? Isaac Lundstrom's gone down with an injured shoulder as well. Replace player. All right, so there's a bunch of victories. Uh, I think he's coming back. Yeah, we're in February now. Thank God. Thank God. All right, I was going to say, but a bruised shoulder, and he's gone for that long? So, pretty good, man. Pretty good. Another five-game stretch where we get points and all. And we are 26-20 and 6 now. Yeah, it's looking good. It's looking much better now. All right, so let's simulate up here and see what we got, shall we? Multiple Anaheim Duck players are back. Let me see who's ready to go. Who's ready to go? Scratch players. Lundstrom. Goudreau is still lingering injury, not bringing him in. Uh, gets laugh. You're out of there, bud, for Lundstrom. And who's on the first line? I follow on the first line. You're running with it, buddy. I'm not breaking up the rest of the lines. <laughs> Uh, simulate up to this day. Simulate up to this day. Let's see if Goudreau's ready to go. Because if he's ready to go, I'm just going to throw him in there. At a lines. I need everything that I can work with right now. Still lingering injury, so I'm not going to tempt fate there. All right, boys? Not going to tempt fate. All right, so we're at January 1st. Let's throw a little save in there. I just want to make sure I don't lose anything. Uh, let's go around the league and take a look at everything. Create new file. Extensions, you dumb dumb. Yeah, uh, the thing is, though, I don't want to extend anyone right now, especially if we're not going to make the playoffs. We gotta make sure that we do this right. Uh, all right, so team stats, all this good stuff. Team stats. Where are we in our division? Our division looks a little bit weak this season. Colorado's up there. We're right there. Man, uh, St. Louis Blues are right behind us. Uh, but then you got Minnesota that are seven points behind us. You know they're twenty-four and twenty-four. So this is a good season for our division. Our division is all over the place. We got some real weak teams in our division, and we're getting ourselves yeah, a good little buffer. So that's nice to see. Goals four per game. Anaheim, 2.94. It's gone north. We're scoring goals. Goals against per game, second best in our division, 294. All right. Power play percentage, hell yeah, 23.9. Penalty kill percentage, 81.5. So this is a, one of those times, again, where it's, it's a statistical anomaly. We look really good. Special teams and 5v5, we're looking pretty good. I think I figured out the line uh, combinations right here. Aho, Zegris, and uh, and uh, uh, what's his name? Goudreau are really good together. So Sebastian Aho is up there. Sam Steele, 42. Zegris. All right, everyone's saying that I, I, I screw with Zegris's growth. Are you kidding me? He'll be fine. Uh, Johnny Goudreau, Jacob Vrana. Bunch of minuses. But all those minuses are coming from early. We must be scoring a lot of goals on the power play then if we're getting all these. All right? Defenseman, uh, Pulak, minus 10. Hinola, minus 4. Lindholm and Vero, uh, and then the goaltenders, John Gibson, 905, yeah, man, I just need, just need our boys to come through, Varlamov, 5 and 7, come on, Varlamov, I need, I sold you to the, uh, to the players watching, or to the people watching, you can't have a season like that, holy shit, I needed, I, I needed a backup that could go positive, right, we need all the wins that we can get, 
All right, so with that being said, let's quickly take a look at the contract extension situation. Man, it's hot down here. i to take off my sweater. What do we got? All right, so Sam Steele wants a contract extension. Five years, six million per. It's not bad, but I don't know. That would match the guys who have the six-year extensions. Hmm, it's an interesting one. Uh, Jason Zucker is not, doesn't want an extension. Axelson doesn't want an extension. Uh, and he's still up at 5 mil, so we might get some good growth by Axelson this offseason. Drysdale, yeah, he's going to get some good growth as well. He wants like 4 million. Interesting. Very interesting. Grew, Jones, what does Jones he want? Jones, three years. That's not bad. I think we should get Max Jones back for three years. That's not that bad. Uh, I follow Wallace, Logan Stanley, Troy Terry, Vero, all these guys down here, and then the goaltender situation. Okay, so with our contract situation, our top guys got one, including this year, one, two, three, four, five, six. So if you signed a guy to a five-year extension, they'd match up with those, all right? And now Sam Steele, if I sign him to an extension, I can trade him because he wants an extension. It's not a no-move no move clause. So I think that's pretty much uh, a guarantee what we got to do here, right? Five years, match it, and go all the way down to 525. Five. You guys got the green light on that one? I mean, we can trade him at any time. That's going to be a tradable contract. Even if he drops a little bit, I still got him playing. What do you guys think? He's on that second line. That, that could be massive. Too low? No, it's not too low. He's making six. I think he can go down to he can go down like nine nine k. Green light, green light. To show you guys on YouTube, green lights. All right, we're getting them. Green light for Sam Steele. All right, so I'll offer Sam Steele the contract uh, extension, five years, which is what he wants, so I can negotiate the price. All right. Uh, Comtois, oh, Comtois lost his medium elite, yeah, he's 26 years of age, but he's still got one year of growth of that medium elite, so he's 87 overall, uh, Zucker, Jones, I think I want Jones back as well, uh, three years, you know what, with Jones, I'll go three years so I can save some money, all right, three years at 2250, you guys all right with that, I'm giving him the year length that he wants, he's just a good player to have anywhere in the lineup, if I want to move him down to the fourth line, third line, just a solid power forward, that, that 82 overall, there's nothing wrong with that, right, what do you guys think, green lights, green lights for Max Jones, yes, green lights, all right, so we got some green lights here for Max Jones, all right, let me do it, three years at 2250, Zegris, Troy Terry, I'm gonna wait on Ayafalo, Logan Stanley, I don't need to get you guys back, Lundstrom, I don't need to get you back yet. Uh, Vero, high top six. I don't need to get him back. I mean, yeah, depending on what happens there. And then Drysdale and Axelson, we're going to wait on because we don't know what we're going on, what's going on with those guys. Goaltender, we're going to wait on. All right, there you go. There are the changes. All right, so I feel like we've got our lines uh, set. The, what the hell is going on with my controller? It's like I move my, I think the, the wire must be getting broken or something. All right, so we're still waiting on Goudreau to come back from his injury. Let's take this up to the trade deadline. Take a look at what potential trades. I think I'm going to stop. Let's go to the trade deadline, but let's go Let's go past that game against L.A. Because I want some time to scout some players before the trade deadline to uncover their chemistry. So we're going to take it another six games here, all right? Six games, a potential 12 points on the line. Give me eight or nine points. Give me eight or nine points. I would love it, all right? I would absolutely love it. Now, one game at a time because Johnny Goudreau. All right, so first up, the New York Rangers. What do we got? A 4-3 loss. Damn these regulation losses. Up next, the Chicago Blackhawks. Johnny Goudreau is available to come back. So let me take out Ayafalo. Let me get Johnny Goudreau right back in there. Come on, Goudreau. Turn this team around. Bang. Right in there. Special teams. Goudreau's on there. Beautiful. Uh, Max Jones has decided to sign a contract extension with the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. Oh, my God. I am getting so fed up with these one-goal losses in regulation. For God's sakes, man. Holy shit. The last four games we've lost in regulation have all been one goal games. Colorado, Pittsburgh, Chicago, and New York. We get shut out one to nothing. Oh my god. Next up, the Detroit Red Wings. Sam Steele has decided to sign the contract extension. Way to go, my man. Two to one victory. So we're certainly keeping the puck out of the net. This is what I mean. We just got to get to the playoffs with this team. It is so imperative that we get to the playoffs. Tampa Bay, tough team. Sergachev, maybe somebody we go for. Trevor Zegers has been injured with a mild concussion. I'm going to replace him. 3-2 loss. For God's sakes, man. Another one goal regulation loss. That's five in a row. For God's sakes, guys. Stop losing by one goal in regulation. It's so annoying. Getzlaff comes up to the first line. No, I don't think I'm going to be putting you in there, Getzlaff. Uh, where is Ayafalo? There he is. Ayafalo's in there. Uh, mix and match right now. Let me get Max Jones up there instead of uh, just get the power forward up there. Move uh, Gru up there as well. 
All right, come on. I wanted eight points out of these final uh, uh, six games. I got myself, what, two in three? Two points in two points out of the eight. Jesus, all I can get now is six points out of this. Philadelphia, let's see what they got here. That's a 3-2 win. That's huge, man. All these wins are so huge at this point. We got to keep winning games. LA Kings, they're shit. LA Kings are shit. Come on. Zegers is back. Uh, fully healed. Let me get him in there. Yeah, let me get him in there. Let me not play around. Everything matters. Zegers is right back. Let me throw him right back in there. You there. You there. Zegers, get in there, buddy. I need every bit of goal scoring support that I can get my hands on. Bang. All right. Let's see what we got. LA Kings, 7-0 victory. All right. I think that's a good place to leave it, all right? Because we are in a position where we can make something happen. Absolutely. Uh, let's see where we sit. Third in our division. The Coyotes are five points behind us. The team behind that, yeah. So we're, we're in a good position here. We just got to win more than we lose. I know that sounds pretty basic, right? But we, we've put ourselves into a position. And considering we were below 500 at the start of this video, I think our team is in a good spot. All right? Now what we need to do is save the game and start targeting. If we're going to trade Jamie Drysdale... We got to start targeting what we're going to go after. All right, so create a new file. Now let's take a look. Let's take a look at Jamie Drysdale. Let's just see. Do we got any growth on him? Progress reports. He's going up. He's going down. Let's see. Uh, Drysdale, 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 Drysdale. Yeah, look at this. Drysdale and Axison. So they ain't growing. All right, they're done their regular season growth. I got to get them playing on the top lines, but I can't play them on the top lines because that's why we missed the playoffs in year number three. So team stats. Let me just go back to this and look at it again team stats uh we're third in our division goals four per game we are 291 that's fine we're almost at three goals four per game goals against per game is going down we're the best defensive team in our division i really like that we're scoring more than we're letting in our power play is 23.1 percent our power play has never been this good so i figured out the power play which is good right we got shooters and our penalty kill is 82.3 special teams is fine special teams is fine uh, uh, honest to God, we just got to find a way to score a little bit more goals, but I think we're, we're simulating the right way. And when we get to the playoffs, defense wins championships. So we're, we're simulating, we're simulating fine. This team is fine. And I think the plus minuses are going in the right direction here. Aho has pulled himself back up there. He's got point per game, moved him up to the top line. Sam Steele, second line center, Johnny Goudreau, first line, right wing. Zegers up there. All right. The top shooters are all shooting the puck. Jacob Vrana, we need to get some more ice time too, but he does have a 20 goal season. That's great. Comtois, this is the depth that's going to help us out for the playoff run. I don't care about these regular season stats. I just got to get this team into the playoffs. It really just comes down to that. Defensively, Hinola and Pulak. Hinola is our top defenseman point wise. That's interesting. Uh, Axelson, Drysdale, 12 points. Axelson and Drysdale are both plus players though. So is Drysdale actually helping us out? I don't know. And then goaltenders, a 908. There you go. 910 save percentage. Jesus. So 23 and 15 for John Gibson. Varlamov is 6 and 8. He does have a better save percentage. He's got a good goals against average. John Gibson is basically where he was those years before. Goals against is right there. His save percentage is going to go up and down every game. So we're getting what we need. It just We just need a good simulation at this point, man. Just need a good simulation. All right. So when you look at this team on paper... We're going to need some depth support for injuries. That's one thing for sure. Aya follows nice. Vero might not be good enough. And Getzlaff might not be good enough. To get guys who are in the mid-80s for depth might be what we want. Especially if we're taking a, a, a Hail Mary push. Zegris grew to an 84. Interesting. So Zegris ju jumped up to an 84. With Ahu and Goudreau, it seems like they're getting that done on that first line. Even though we don't have the chemistry for them, their overall numbers are just overpowering other teams. Now, I think the second line is actually really good as a plus three. Minus two. Vrana spent a lot of time on the third line, so it's plus minus down there. Come to one steals plus minuses are right there. So I think that third the second line is gonna get it done as well. Uh third line, Lundstrom minus six, Zucker minus five. They're fine. I mean, they're not gonna get too much offense down here. And then Gru, uh, Wallace, and Terry. Wallace is actually a plus six. Look at that. Maybe I move him up instead of Zucker or something. Wallace is an interesting player. Axelson and Pulak. So the idea for the playoffs would be to move Axelson down here with Stanley and then upgrade Drysdale along with a first for that top tier defenseman. And there's your blue line for the playoffs. So imagine a 90 overall defenseman. The question is, which 90 overall defenseman are we going to go out there and get? So let's do our due diligence. Take a look at what teams are not having a great season. 
because that's ultimately what we'd be doing we're not trading drysdale to a playoff bound team all right we need to find a team that's not in the playoffs that has a good defenseman so a team like the arizona coyotes all right here we go uh jacob Chichurin, 90 overall they just signed him to a one-year 10 million dollar extension we could then extend him after that uh top four defensive pairings so he's not going to be good on the penalty kill but there you go there's an example of a guy who's only got this year and one more year after this, and they're not exactly in the playoffs. I don't think they would trade this uh, Maloney guy, right? But there you go. Jacob Chichurin could be one, and they want Jamie Drysdale. Boston is too good. They wouldn't take on a Jamie Drysdale. They wouldn't give up Charlie McAvoy, right? So you guys see the kind of teams that I'm looking for. Uh, a lot of people suggested Rasmus Dahlin. Not on this team. Buffalo is way too good. They're holding on to that first overall pick. Calgary, another shitty season for Calgary. What do they got? Rasmus Anderson, that would be an interesting one. Only 86 overall, though, so is that not good enough? Fits on the first defensive pairing, which alongside of Fowl, not Fowler, sorry, uh, 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 Pulak, that would be a plus three. Anderson and Pulak on the first line, plus three. That would make sense. You could maybe even throw Pareko in there as well. You know, like you could do something crazy like this. Like, watch this. Anderson and Pareko, right? Now, I'd be over the league maximum salary, but now that we're at the cap, I mean, now that we're at the trade deadline, I could throw Simeon Varlamov in there just to get the, the goaltender moving. They'd have too many goalies. All right, so I would take back, uh, I would take this guy back, Laurent Brassot. All right, there you go. You're starting to get there, right? So you get two defensemen to help you out in your Stanley Cup run. Two guys who are legitimate. They're going to be here for another season, and you have a much better blue line. Pareko is going to be better than Logan Stanley, and Rasmus Anderson is going to get a plus three with Pulak on the first line. Right, you need an 89 plus. Well, I'm just showing you guys potential. We're not getting the superstar with this trade, but we're getting the depth that we might need for the playoffs. Let's move on. Let's move on. Calgary, I mean uh, Carolina, sorry. Uh, Slavin, I think they were above 500 though. He signed into a four-year extension. That ain't gonna work. Chicago, they don't want him, and they're in the playoffs. They don't want him. If they don't want him, I can't trade. That's a rule. Dallas, interesting team here. Heskinen, 85. Signed a six-year extension. Why would they trade a guy like that? They want him coming back. They're having a bad year. If they sign him to an extension, I'm not trading him unless it's like Chichurin with the one-year extension, all right? Uh, Detroit could be interesting. What do they got? Jonas Brodin, Cornyn. Cornyn's 22 years of age with four years left. Nah, that ain't going to work. Uh, Edmonton. All right, well, they're way up there, though. Now nah, they wouldn't be trading away any of the players that got them there. Same thing with Florida. Uh, LA doesn't want them. Minnesota, what do they got? Uh, Jared Spur, Jesus, they need blue liners on this team. For Christ's sake, that is brutal. Uh, we're not going after any of those guys. Montreal could be on the, the limit here. You know, maybe they don't want Matthew Dumba. Maybe they want to go young because uh, uh, it's not working out for them. But they could make the playoffs still with that record. Uh, no, no, they don't want him. They don't want him. They don't want him. Philly. Now, Philly's in the playoffs. Provorov. We were all talking about this one. That would be the 92 overall guy. Fits in the top four pairing. All right, so you get your plus three with Pulak. All right, Provorov. So what you do here is you'd have to give them... You'd have to give them Varlamov to free up the cap, right? Now, coming back the other way, they have hearts. So I would take Casey DeSmith. All right, there you go. So that trade's going to happen. Um, now, if we're going to get Provorov... Drysdale hasn't proven himself. You're going to have to throw in like that. You know what I mean? You're going to really have to overpay for a guy like this. Now, the only question is, let me back out. We know it's the Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, will it, where does Philly sit? Where does Philly sit in the standings? If they're in a playoff hunt, it makes no sense for them to trade. Uh, Philadelphia Flyers. They're down there in sixth position, only five points out of a playoff hunt. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Are they going for a full-on rebuild at this point? Or do they want to bring him back? God, that's a weird one. That's a weird... They are still well within the hunt. Uh, what does their team look like on paper, by the way? So, their best player, Provorov. Starting to get a little bit older. They have Nolan Patrick, Farabee. They have a lot of... You know what? When you look at this team, all their players are 28 years of age. They'd want to keep him there. Farabee, Sorelli, Sanheim, Myers, uh, Suter, Konechny. You know what I mean? They got a good little group there. And honest to God, Provorov at 28, if they re-sign him, could be the guy. But they do have Sanheim and Myers signed at 28 years of age. That's an interesting one. That's an interesting one. I'd love to see what you guys on YouTube have to say about that. The Twitch scouts are saying go for it. So that's an interesting one. Provorov is... Um, easily the best bet. Well, Chichurin as well for the superstar way. 
uh san jose now we talked about this earlier on in the video we could get this guy merkley who's just a simple offensive defenseman upgrade uh he's 24 years of age but he's only got two years left and he's probably going to be an unrestricted free agent so they could just get this young guy off the team and replace him with another young guy that you could go better into the future with that would be an upgrade on the uh the offensive defenseman so if you guys think that this defensive team needs more than just offensive defenseman that's not the trade if you want to just make drysdale and up like a, a better upgrade that could be it uh vince dunn three years left that's a nice one but jesus look at that trade value it's gone way up uh he fits on the third defensive pairing there you go but honest to god if we're gonna go for an 85 overall that calgary trade with pareko and anderson was lo look, looking looking pretty nice right uh tampa bay you got sergachev two years left i don't know why they would want to trade sergachev he's the guy damn he would be perfect he would be perfect, but this team has got this core together. Stammer's still got three years left. Kucherov's got three years left. They just signed Hedman to a three-year extension. Uh, Braden Point's got one year. Sergachev, nah, they wouldn't trade Sergachev. That is, that's a nice one to get, but they're in the playoffs as well. Now, Toronto's in the playoffs. Vancouver's in the playoffs. They don't want them. Washington's in the playoffs. Winnipeg's not in the playoffs. Uh, I think all they have is Dougie Hamilton and Josh Morrissey. Yeah, they signed them for four years, though. Defensive pairing number two. No, that ain't going to work. And then back to Arizona. So, honestly, I, I, from Arizona, Jacob Chichurin could be an interesting one. You're getting yourself a big-time two-way defender. I uh, don't. Uh, he's not going to be a good penalty killer, but we don't need him to be penalty killer. We already have our penalty killers, and he's 90 overall. And he signed an extension, but it's only a one-year extension, so that's not going to hurt us at all. Uh, that's not a bad one. You got the Calgary one with Pareko and, uh, Pareko and Anderson. All right, and that's basically just loading up. Um, it's good for an injury as well that happens because we get two defensemen that come in rather than just going for one guy, right? So that's big. Anderson and Pareko. That could be massive for us. That would increase our blue line's depth uh, tremendously. And then you got the, uh, what was it? Provorov? Provorov on Philly. Merkley on San Jose. There's another guy that I'm missing. Who was I missing, boys? Uh, Montreal, no. LA, no. Florida, no. That might have been it. That might have been it. Was it Warinsky? Warinsky? Warinsky on Colum No, but Columbus didn't want uh, Drysdale, right? Yeah, they didn't want him. Yeah, they, 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 they can't trade him to a team that doesn't want him. We got to have one green name in there somewhere. All right, so I'm going to leave it right there, ladies and gentlemen. This is a big trade because we could hold on to Drysdale and just be a part of the team, or we could say this is our year and we go for it, right? Uh, I feel like the simulation is trending in our direction, and by upgrading Drysdale, that's going to give us an even better team. Uh, we should be able to make the playoffs with this squad. If we miss the playoffs and we make the trade, and then it's all, I mean, it's all falling apart. But let me know what you guys think, all right? That's a big one. Provorov, Arizona to Turin, or Calgary, Anderson, and Pareko. Let me know, boys, and I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, Johnny here, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure notifications are on so you don't miss out on any new content. We also live stream on Twitch where I take days off my life for your entertainment. Sonny Gray, get out of it. You stupid pieces of shit. I should have gone with Jose for Nandez. Oh my God, pitching change. Fernandez, get your ass in there. Oh, I swear to God, baseball God just decided to all over me. Grand slam, oh yeah. Make me miss the playoffs with a first ranked team. Year two, 30 games above 500, no divisional win, trip to the wild card. First inning.